G'day team, you might be in here. Today I'm just going to show you how to um, quarter a mallard with the skin on. So to start with, you use nature's tools here. You start ripping off all the feathers. Do it somewhere where it doesn't matter, there's lots of feathers. Don't do it in your garage or in your lounge. Take big clumps and pull them up against the grain. Now it's actually easier to do this when the birds are warm. So it doesn't make for a very pretty photo at the end of the day. When you're taking photos of all your, your success. However, what are we here for? Photos or feet? So you're just sort of pulling it all away like that. Don't worry about that really fine fluff. We'll deal with that later. You also want to be getting up around the um, around the legs, the drumsticks. Get all of that. Right, there we are. She's all, well, he's all done. So we've got right up into the back there. We've got the legs exposed, like right up behind. So we're plucking that side of the body. Don't worry about the back or the wings or the rump or anything like that, because we might need them. And the next thing we do, all these little fluffy bits, get a lighter or a gas cooker. Just run the flame over them, that'll just singe them all off nicely. I don't actually have a lighter on me, so I'm going to have to do that part at home. Alright, so what we do, we've got this keel down here. And we're going to run this knife along the keel of the bird. Like so. And likewise, just on the other side. Next stage, we've got the wishbone here. So what we want to do is run that knife along the edge of the wishbone. And out to the skin. Get through that main artery there. One. Now for the legs, it's really simple, it's like taking the front legs off the pig or anything else, just start from the bottom and cut up. Break the hip, here it dislocate like that, and then cut around. Yeah. Get on leg, like with this. there and you should be able to slightly cut the skin beautiful
one. Oh, this guy's actually already got a broken leg. I must have hit him there. That's the majority of the meat taken off the bird. We can also take these, or we will take these tenderloins out. Deconstructed mallard. Then we'll bury him in the garden. And just like that, we've got a bag of skin on duck. So I'll do a couple of recipes soon with what to do with those breasts um, and those legs. Those legs are quite good in a confit or anything slow cooked. And with those breast meat, I'll show you what to do. Stay tuned for future videos.